All right. Well, hello, Khazar Beach and Alias fans. we got some really exciting new features that are coming out. John Luke's been working really hard on some really neat things that have to do with uh, wavetable-style synthesis. And uh, so I'm going to share with you some really cool things that I've discovered just sort of playing with a, a pre-release version here. So um, let's get right into it. Um, so as you can see here, there's been a couple new architectures added, or one new architecture added, which is the... Uh, the table here and that's wavetable synthesis we'll get into that in just a second there was one thing I, I just noticed on the and this was something I think that was added as part of the uh, wavetable synthesis uh, but it looks like John Luke has, has rolled it back into the uh, um, TIA modes as well but there's this this length uh, function and if that wasn't there before uh, or if that was there before and I missed it then well I missed it but here it is I, just kind of playing with it uh, I'll show you a couple things here So that's kind of cool, especially when you patch that into something like um, a uh, step sequence here. Here, so I've got a little step sequence set up. Uh, that's really kind of neat. Really sounds cool when you pop over into one of the other screens where you can actually play some polyphony. I don't know. I could hear it. I could totally hear it. It's going to be the next hit al album. But yeah, so that's kind of fun. Um, and then let's hop over into wavetable stuff. Um, so I think I showed this for, uh, as well. When you're on the sample page, right off the bat, it's on the default sound, which sounds like that when you play it as a sample. Um, if you play it lower... Yeah, kind of funky. But uh, that actually is very useful here in the wavetable synthesis. And again, if we take the same thing, so with, with wavetable, you select your sample from whatever your loaded, loaded sample is. And so in this case, we've got the default sound. Uh, I'm going to load up another sample in a second and show you something really cool. But then you select which wave in the wavetable. Right, that, so if we patch this over to the uh, step sequencer, The thing that John Luke just added that was really nice is this blur function. So here, when, when you hear the um, the changing to the different waves, it's real sharp, and sometimes you'll, you'll hear a little bit of clicking. When you turn this blur function up, really cool. It's like you know, very PPG wave uh, style, uh, morphing, morphing waves and that sort of stuff. And again, really super cool when you hop over into uh, chord mode and you're you know, if we really kind of fix this up a little bit, we'll add uh, a little bit of attack and decay. And then let's, uh, let's add some effects in here. We'll just give it some echo. Again, we'll go over to the um, uh, if on the on page one you can actually play in poly uh, polyphonic mode. Um, if you go over into your uh, your voice edit and then um, da, 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 go to page three here. Then this is where you can set how many uh, notes of polyphony you have. And what's really fun is when you play the notes uh, not all together and play them almost like an arpeggio. So yeah, 
loving that stuff. That is really cool. Now let's do something else that's really kind of fun here. Let's what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to another voice here, and uh, I'm just gonna call this one alias. And you'll find out in just a moment. Let's call this one default. Default, because that is using the default wavetable. So we got default and we got alias. Okay, so now we're over here on alias. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to load up a sample. Let's go to disk load. And I'm already in my folder here. And if I click on this and play it, Ailey. let's go up an octave. Alias. Alias. Right, so it's just alias. Yours truly saying alias, right? So I sampled that and we're gonna use that in some wavetable stuff, which is really super cool. So let's load this up. Yep, sample has loaded. And we'll go on to this page. And if I just go over here to sample and I have to tell it right here, if I go to sample zero. That's a little confusing, by the way. Alias. There it is. Right? Alias. So now this is in sample mode, which is just playing straight ahead samples. Pop over into wavetable mode. And, you know, it's it's not going to... Um, I have to get... Right? And if I do this... Alias. You can hear it, right? It says alias, right? And if I map this to a function, so we go wave, map this over here to a function, go to function one... And we'll map the input to time. Alias. There it is. Alias. 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 Now it sounds really gritty. Blur doesn't seem to really help it much here. Alias. But I know a really cool trick. Instead of mapping this to a function, let's map it to a step sequencer. Uh, so we're going to map this to step sequencer one. And to make this work the way that we want it to, and first let me put the blur back down to one so you're going to hear the whole effect here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to start here at the top, and then I'm just going to hold my mouse here and just sort of ramp it down. I'm going to probably have to fix that ramp a little bit because it's a little bit wonky right there. Smooth out this section. Make it a nice, even-looking sort of a ramp like so. And I can already tell you we're going to have to put the speed up here in this range. But now listen to this. Oh, 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 slow it down. Now when you turn the blur on, you still hear some of that, but it sounds a little sm smoother. And of course, hop over here into... Do, 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 do. We'll go into uh, this mode. Here we are on alias. And if I go. Still sounds a little wonky. Let's go to. Uh, I got my blur going. Speed it up just a touch. So yeah, lots of fun with the uh, the new wavetable synthesis there. Uh, really excited uh, about to see the new release come out because, um, yeah, this was super cool.